2024 Ford Mustang First Look, Photos in Full Details on the New Pony Car Creating the 2024 Mustang, Ford pulled a gutsy and potentially historic move. The seventh-generation Mustang is likely the last for the gas-snorting pony car, but the fact it's purely gas-snorting at all is something of a surprise. Chevrolet is rumored to be sunsetting the Camaro as we know it ahead of an electric replacement in 2024, Dodge has come out and confirmed its Challenger is going electric around the same time. A passion project in the truest sense, the 2024 Mustang team needed to justify its rationale for an internal combustion muscle car at every turn, even with management ultimately supporting its moves. After all, Ford is in the throes of embracing electric trucks and SUVs. Mustang enthusiasts who've purchased about 10 million of the cars since production began in 1964 should rejoice in the fact Ford is even doing this at a time when not only its primary competitors are exiting the gas-powered muscle car segment, but sales of coupes and convertibles continue to decline generally while cars, meaning not SUVs and trucks, themselves are becoming an endangered species boxed out by ever more popular high-riding vehicles. Think about it, the Mustang, even today, is the only car Ford sells in North America and EVs are coming. The Mustang Mach-E, an electric crossover, already outsells the traditional Mustang Coupe. Executive Chairman Bill Ford said he knows the last internal combustion, stick-shift Mustang will roll off the line in Flat Rock, Michigan, in his lifetime, and he will have a tear in his eye, but we're not there yet. Regardless of what the future holds, the 2024 Ford Mustang, revealed on September 14 at the 2022 North American International Auto Show, also known as the Detroit Auto Show, is a commitment to many more years of traditional pony car sales. There will still be a 23 model year for the existing model with orders to open soon. And then the new 4 2024 Pony gallops in, a de facto victory lap for the breed with its taut new looks, modern interior, electronic drift brake, and the ability to rev the engine with your key fob. 2024 Ford Mustang and GT still offered as coupe or convertible. When the 2024 Ford Mustang goes on sale early next summer, consumers will still be able to choose between a coupe and a convertible, and between a base model with an EcoBoost 4-cylinder or a more powerful GT with a V8 that also comes with a manual transmission. Over a lengthy life cycle, we expect to see a rollout of heritage names such as Boss, Bullet, and Mach 1. There is certainly some space within this platform architecture and powertrains to do some more, says Mustang chief nameplate engineer Ed Krenz. The automaker found a viable way to update the car. The newest 650 platform is a modified version of the existing S550, and there are a few carryover pieces such as the roof, a pillar, and rear glass. Notions of a Mustang hybrid or adding all-wheel drive were dropped. Ford's designers carefully honed the styling, which is as evolutionary as the newest 650 bones are. The result is instantly recognizable as a Mustang and checks all the right boxes with its long hood, short rear deck lid, and tapering roof. While the 4 and 8-cylinder engines are similar to today's, they're both nearly all new, Ford is essentially building a better mousetrap here, adding some cool party tricks, more tech, and over-the-air updates made possible with its new electrical architecture. Let's stick a hoof in, shall we? Styling the pony car. Early designs were tossed aside in favor of a bolder look, with muscular fenders, a lower beltline, and sexier tautness. It looks like a fist in the wind going down the road, said Global Design Director Joel Piaskowski. Whereas the 6th Gen Mustang went more international, the 7th generation harkens back to its American roots to provide a modern interpretation of a classic. That means new tri-bar LED-accented headlights to match the taillights, but also dramatic rear angles that undercut and act like a spoiler, making the car look whiter even though the proportions are largely unchanged. For the first time, the Mustang EcoBoost will wear entirely unique front styling compared to the GT. The changes go beyond distinct grille inserts. The side grille openings, which are fake on the regular Mustang, are larger on the GT with one side blocked off for aero and the other fully functional. Air also flows through the GT's high-gloss black hood extractor. The roofline was crafted to ensure drivers can get in and out without removing their helmet at the track. The convertible has an insulated fabric roof with a single handle latch and a one-touch button to open and close it. There are two new paint colors among the 11 offered, yellow splash and vapor blue, as well as new colors for stripes, Brembo brake calipers, and seatbelts. 
and there are a number of appearance packages to further customize the look. Wheels range in size from standard 17-inch to 19-inch on the GT, and optional 20-inchers. Dramatic new Mustang interior. Interior design manager Ricardo Garcia said it was time to shake up the interior, and he created full-scale foam bucks to get customer feedback on the ideas burbling up from the team, which, during a three-year period, evolved into the new, more open cockpit. The new flat-bottom steering wheel is standard across all trims and is heftier, it's a joy to hold. The SYNC 4-powered infotainment system has fewer physical buttons because more functions are controlled via the screen. And about those screens, they're a real departure for Mustang, with a 12.4-inch display directly in front of the driver and 13.2-inch center screen angled toward the driver, both under a single pane of glass in most trims. Graphics are crisp, plentiful, and change with the drive mode selected. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.